King Heathen, uh, you wanted me to post my deconversion story, so here it is. And me and the empty giant up Pez dispenser says hi. So, you wanted to know about our different deconversion stories. Well, mine kind of came about the same way yours did. I used to be a uh, radical Christian. I was Assemblies of God Pentecostal growing up. Um, I have to say, it probably wasn't as hardcore as you were, but still, you grow up in that kind of church, you have to be hardcore, or you just, you don't ever get accepted. Not that I ever did, I'm going to go into that later. Um, probably the biggest thing I found out about the church, and uh, what turned me off from it, was from 1993 to 2006, my mother raised me and my older brother on her own. Uh, she, she was a single mother. And uh, Christians don't like single mothers, especially the radical ones. They did not understand that uh, the best thing my mother ever did for herself and for her children was uh, to, to divorce our father. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, another thing that it also had to do with my parents. Uh, another thing that turned me off from Christianity and religion in general uh, was, was the fact that my father is Jewish and I was never accepted by the church because, uh, well, it, it was, um, I hesitate to say Hitler-like, but uh, it, it was made very clear in the church that unless my brother and I found a way to convert my father, uh, he was going to burn in hell, and we possibly would too. Um, th that's not the kind of thing anybody wants to hear about their parent. Um, yeah, he's my dad, I love him. I, whatever he did, whatever he's done in his life, it's his own business. It's not up to me to judge. It's not up to anybody to judge. Um, there was a long time that I did not call myself an atheist. I was an agnostic. Um, I didn't want to say I don't believe in God. Um, I just I just wanted to say I wasn't sure if I did. Uh, to, to a degree, I'm still not sure. I think that we could all be wrong. I think we could, you know, all be ruled by a flying spaghetti monster. Nothing's impossible. But, um back to my deconversion story. There was another thing, it came to light when I was about 11 or 12 years old that I was bisexual, and my mother was has, was and has always been very outspoken against homosexuality and bisexuality. She says it's a lie, she says it's immoral, she opposes gay marriage in all forms, um, and that always struck me as very, very wrong. I mean, if it's two consenting adults, and this this is another thing she said, two consenting adults, whatever they do behind closed doors is their business, but she made it very clear that she didn't like it, unless it was, you know, man and woman, missionary position, usually done for the sole purpose of procreation. Um, and that bothered me. I mean, not just because of what I found out about myself, but because it just, it seems so, so hypocritical. Um, there were, I think, two things that finally drove me over the edge. This, this was like, this is it, I'm done, there's no God, there can't be a God, uh, for me, was this movie, Dogma, which, very wonderful movie, it pointed out a lot of the, uh, the hypocrisy, the stupid stupid things that people do um, in the name of their religion, and this. Um, now, ironically, I think, if you've read this book, you know about the Babelfish argument and how Adams used it as proof that said God uh, did not exist. Um, I'm not going to try and find it and read it, but uh, the thing was that God created the Babel fish, and it was so impossible that that thing could have evolved that, you know, it would prove God exists. But he said, I refuse to prove that I exist, for without faith I am nothing. Um, so that was, that was, um, kind of it. 
I mean, among other things, among, you know, 9-11, example of stupid things people will do in the name of religion, uh, among coming out, so to speak, um, it's, for me, it's like, yeah, okay, I like guys and girls, but who needs to know unless I'm dating you and, well, unless I'm trying to tell you why I became an atheist. Um, yeah, that, that was my deconversion story. Um, I just got tired of, of all the hypocrisy, of all the lies, of all the uh, not accepting people for who they are or the decisions they had to make. I mean, what business was it of anybody else's if my mom was divorced and that she worked a full-time job, she had two kids, um, she couldn't afford to get anybody to watch us. Um, it, why did that matter to them? I mean, I, I also didn't understand why was it so wrong for love. I mean, you can love your husband or your wife and you can love your, your family and your kids, but you can't love somebody just because they're the same gender as you. And you can't do something behind closed doors. It, it's their business. So that was my deconversion story. It's, um, kind of lame. It's really not that interesting, I don't think, but you you did ask, and um, I think that was, I think it's it's a good thing to post things like this. It, I'm not angry at God. I have never been angry at God in my life. been disappointed. I've questioned. I've, you know, said, well, if you're here, why did this happen? I'm not angry at God. I see no point in being angry at God. Um, it's not because I have a, a, a vendetta against churches. I certainly don't like churches. I don't like what they stand for. I don't like what they've come to stand for. But that's their business. I, if I don't let it get to me, why should I care what they do? I mean... That's their business. Just like, you know, it's my business if I'm not going, if I don't believe. So, there you are. Signing off now.